Hey everybody, it is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I am bringing you a thread up rescue box full of jewelry. Now in this one, I did the 30 pieces for $35, I think is what it was. Um, of course I didn't pull it up, but I think it's just something like that. So that is what I'm opening for you guys today. And um, if you are in my group, Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, we always share which distribution center it came out of because there is a growing not fungus, growing concern or growing something a doodle um, about which distribution center. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for, you guys? Help me. Uh, conspiracy theory, maybe. Um, about which distribution center your box comes from and the quality of goods that you get. So <clears throat> I did get this one from the Georgia, Duluth, Georgia, darling. Georgia peach. Anyway, so I got the box from Georgia. Looks like so. Um, so this one is billed as they send 30 pieces of jewelry. They should be all wearable. Um, it's different than the 10 pound um, box that you get for 20 bucks, which is unavailable right now, which, um, <laughs> which I'm sure they're going to fly off the shelves again when they are available. Um, but yeah, that one, the 10 pound one is supposed to be crafting lot, but um, it usually has better stuff too. So my last 30 pieces, I actually had a gold ring in it. So bonus, hang on, I'm trying to move my chair. You guys, I am live, hang on. Is my chair broken? No, good, okay. Um, I am live, I have been suffering. <laughs> I'm just put this out there. So if you see me wincing or whatever, my, I did something to my back and my sciatic nerve has been, I'm so upset because I don't think I'm gonna be able to go to my sister's tomorrow. This is very upsetting uh, because I don't think I can make the drive. So I'm going, I did go to the chiropractor on Saturday and I'm probably going to go back again, but I've been laid up all day, but it gave me a chance to finally go through the rest of my eBay, my eBay stuff. Let me say hey in the chat and then we'll dive into this bad boy. Actually, I have the price right here on the, on the invoice, right? It was $34. Yeah. And then there was shipping. So it was about probably about 40 bucks with shipping. I think it's about $6. Hey Debbie, how's it going? <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, Christine Rosalie. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Sweet Pod Thrift and Christine. I do have a thread up addiction. I'm not going to deny it. Um, and I'm so happy that you guys are here to enable me um, to continue my thread up addiction. I, I find things that I like and I find things that I can sell and I find things that I can do giveaways with. So it's a win, 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 right? For everybody. So why not? I mean, seriously, though, if you think about it, 30 pieces for, well, basically 40 bucks if you throw the shipping in there. That's just a little more than a dollar a piece, so I can't complain about that. I mean, really, where else you, I mean, and then the 10 pound box, forget about it. Forget about it, $20 to so 10 pounds of jewelry? Bring it on, honey. Um, so, hi, Picky Chick, hello, Pamela and Tracy. Hello, yes, another thread up. Oh, just, I have a little, I have a little stash of them over here because I had a feeling they were going to get sold out. So I was like, I better just get a few so I can like parse them out to myself, right? Um, a little bit about a little bit at a time. Conspiracy, right? <laughs> That's the word. Um, yeah, I hope it's a great one too, Marcy. Hello. Hi from East Texas. Hello. Hello. Okay. Let's see. New York would be good or Georgia. Okay. Okay. Where, isn't that where your six pound one came from? I'll have to look at the box. It's over, over there. But I think so. I think most of the ones I've gotten have been from the Georgia um, distribution center. But if you're in the group, I dropped a thread over there in Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. So go put in your two cents if you have gotten boxes. Um, so there's that. All right. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. And then I'm going to jump into the box. I'm, I'm trying to make it last. So if it seems like I'm stalling, I just want to make it last. All right, here we go. We just started Texas Sparkle. So I'm opening the paper. From what I've um, seen in the groups, some of the people that have gotten um, the 30 the 30 piece boxes, they didn't all come like in these sweet boxes like this, but we're just like in bags, which, you know, whatever. I mean, I like the boxes. It makes it look nice and everything. But it's the quality. It's the quality. I will take a I will take a box full of bagged gold any day. 
<laughs> so if it's garbage though, forget it. All right, let's see. Yay, made a live one. Thank you for being here, Simply Faith. Thank you, thank you. Um, how do you know where each one comes from? Okay, so here's what you do. On the packing doodad, fancy terminology on this right here, it'll say shipped from like Duluth, Georgia. That's where mine was shipped from. So that should, should tell you. I don't know if it tells you on the packing slip too. Let's find out. Does it? No. No, it does not. And that's okay. All right. So here we go. Um, Whitley says, I got six and only one was so so. Five were great. Yeah. I mean, overall in the group, the people, and if you're not in Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers and you're also addicted to the thread up, look at me stalling. Um, go join because. Friends in the group that get the boxes will take pictures and share their their hauls in the group too. So, all right, let's see what's up first. Oh my goodness, <sighs> you're so pretty. You're so pretty. Okay, I I was wearing, nobody noticed my new. These were the earrings I didn't show you guys yesterday from the the garage sale. But anyway, so those are the ones that I got yesterday from the garage sale from the lady I got the same ring, this ring from. But look. Oh. Oh. Look at these gorgeous darlings. Oh, my goodness. Can you say Penelope von Schnitzel Witzel in the house? Hello, darlings. It has been so long since we have hung out together can you see my gorgeous earrings oh i am smitten with them oh i would wear these <laughs> to track <laughs> take my kids to track oh my gosh okay oh okay they are oh and they're a nice brand too of course penelope von schnitzelwitzel does not wear off the rack these are Heidi Douse, I'll have you know. So these ones are Heidi Douse, which is a fair maker. And I love the backs. Look at these. I always want to call this an Omega. Is that, is that, but I always think I have it wrong. Is that the Omega back? I think it is. Tell me if I'm wrong or correct me, please. They are really nice. I will probably look these up to see what they're going for. But man, they're so pretty. It's almost like a catch and release, maybe. They're so, I mean, I want to say they're just delicious, right? They are, de okay, Omega, good. They're delicious, right? Look at that. I mean, they just look like Marie Antoinette or something. You know, they're just amazing. Okay, so let's just fawn over there. There's ones for a while. Okay. Well, good thing they put these ones in there because if I had the next earrings first, I might be singing a different tune. You would guess a pretty penny. Yes, very vixen. Yes, yes. They're very royal looking, right? Very regal. Yes. Okay. So then the next ones, well, we're just going to say we've got, we've got exhibit A, perfect for prom. And then we've got exhibit B. Perfect for alligator wrestling. <laughs> Perfect for, um, well, let's just see. Perfect for the craft lot. I I want to say somebody would love them, and I'm sure I'm sure somebody in the chat's going to be contrary and say I love them. They're so beautiful. But yeah, the, the balls look a little spotty. They yeah, they, and there's hair on them. We've got spotty balls with with hair. <laughs> and then, I mean, they're just now. So these ones will probably go into a craft lot off-roading. <laughs> yeah, these are good for off-roading. There we go. Or, I, you know, that's the thing. You've got, I always like to say, you've got to think about your customer. You've got to think about what lady would wear these. And you've got to think about what lady would wear these. Nah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to put those back over there for right now. And they're orange. <laughs> okay, so next up, we'll just 
And that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> monster truck rally. I don't know. I, I, I think a lady at a monster truck rally would wear something way more spectacular than this. Truly. Oh, Rosalie, thank you. She said she checked out the Heidi Douse, and they're about 80 bucks of comps. Ooh. I have to decide now. Do I leave them? Do I, does Penelope von Schnitzel Vitzel have to keep them? Or do we need 80 bucks? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Cheap ones are 50. Okay. Thank you for that, Rosalie. Next up, we've got this necklace, which is not turquoise, as you can see. It is stone, though. I'm trying to see. Oh, it's a premier design. You can hear that it is like a, a stone dyed to look like turquoise. I mean, it's still a pretty multi-strand necklace, which I think somebody will probably like. I don't see it going for turquoise prices, but... But she yes. so let to buy more truck stop waitress. I would, I would even hope that the truck stop waitress would wear nicer earrings than this. You know what I mean? I just don't even know. Oh my gosh, Fairy Vixen, thank you so much for that $2 super chat. I really appreciate it. That $2 is going straight to my next thread up box. <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm not joking either. As soon as those go back on sale. Oh. I'm going to try to show you this Premier Designs tag because it is one that we get asked a lot in the group so in the group we we have you know we help each other with what is this mark we play what is this maker's mark all the time and premier designs is one that we get quite often it's got these like laurels that come up and like a crown and like a p or a pd in the middle anyway so there's that Okay, hey, Myrtle Hourglass. Penelope's daughter, Temperance, needs this for her next pageant. Oh, yes. Her pageant days are not over yet, darling. She's not even come out. She's barely a Deb. <laughs> All right, so next up we have these. They're kind of like short. What is it called? They're crosses, but then they're like shorter, kind of rounder. They're not, Mal I mean, Maltese crosses. I know what those are, but but there's a different name for this type of cross, and I don't even know it. Or I can't remember it, one or the other. They appear like they're probably pewter, is my guess, as far as the material. And then the hoop looks like that. So, again, these will probably end up in a craft lot. Yeah. But I've already, <laughs> these two have already done me for my, uh, did I make my money back? Check. Yes, I did. Okay. So now everything else is just... Gravy on the mashed potatoes. Do you like gravy? Do you like gravy on your mashed potatoes? This is if I was singing a, a, a musical about gravy and mashed potatoes. Apparently we're doing a new thing now. <laughs> but yeah, I, I got my nails done. I, it's been a couple days ago, yeah. All right. Here we go. Box numero dos. Okay, all right. all right. I do like, and I tend to like these, um, and it's kind of got that repousse. We just learned about repousse. If you remember, I just did a video um, about that. Now, whether I think it is something that has been done by hand or probably not, it's probably been like mass produced, but it would be a good keyword, you know, repousse type design. And it's brass. So I've, I've sold a few bracelets like this. so. Not bad. If it doesn't have too much damage on it, then I can sell that for sure. Um, <laughs> when I gave the birdies, I, you know, I mean, it's, we were just thinking of spring, right? We're missing the birds. <laughs> we were missing those birds. Springtime for someone. Um, anyway. Hello, hello. Oh, so I'm so glad, Southern Blues guys. Uh, I, I strive, as much as I am silly, I really do love jewelry. I really am passionate about it. And I really do want to help and teach you that jewelry is fun. Jewelry is fun. You never answered me. Do you take gravy on your mashed potatoes? <laughs> but this is my random musical. <laughs> so next. Seriously, um, we've got this really neat, like, I don't find a whole lot of orange jewelry, really. Um, so 
This one is orange and gold. And I, I, don't, I don't wear orange, really, but I kind of like this. I like the brightness. I like the gold. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. I And then it's intertwined. I mean, I don't know. I'll have to figure out what this is called because there's they are interlocking. So they don't just, you know, it's not a straight, normal kind of knots in the middle kind of deal. So it hangs different. Different. I'll have to make sure to catch capture that in the uh, photographs, you know. Anyway, so <laughs> baked potato with barbecue sauce. <laughs> okay. Oh, I went over football. Yay. Nice. Okay. <laughs> what if I eat potatoes? <laughs> All right. So this one, yeah, I'll probably sell that. Uh, maybe it'll go into a mystery box. I've, I've got, you know, I do mystery boxes too that I sell. So, I mean, it's nice enough to resell. It's nice enough that maybe I'd either sell it or put it in a mystery box. That's what I love not. There we go. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Immortal Hourglass. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, it could be somebody's team colors for sure. Okay, next up. Yes to the gravy. My son, my my son James is a gravy fanatic. He loves gravy. And, and one of the ladies yesterday at the garage sale <laughs> complimented him because it, she had like a, an antique gravy server, but it had this long handle and then it had like the gravy thing with, you know, when gravy, gravy, <laughs> Let's talk about gravy. When gravy separates and so that this, it's got two spouts. One is for like the greasy part and one is for like the creamy part. If you know what I'm talking about. And so he picked it up and he was like, mom, I need this. I need to have this for my gravy. Of course the watch is going to go off in the middle of my story. Thanks a lot. But the lady was like, oh my gosh, you don't know how many adults have asked me what that thing is today. I'm so glad that you know what it is. <laughs> anyway, so next up, the fuzz is from the, there's like fuzzy stuff in the bottom of the box. Just ignore it. It'll stop. Um, so there's these earrings, which are kind of fun. Um, they actually kind of look like something I might wear. However, I probably won't. I don't like the seam down the center of them though. So mm, I might try to sell them or I'll put them in a lot depending on the wear. Let's see if they're evenly worn. There's a hole in the bottom. <laughs> oh yeah. Chocolate gravy. He about flipped. We went to a friend's for a new year's Eve party or new year's day for kids. And they had a chocolate fountain and he was like, we need a chocolate fountain, mom. No, we do not. <laughs> we we do not need a chocolate fountain. Okay, so those are cool. So those are the next pieces. So that makes, what, seven? All right. Next up. I'm just trying to remember. It's 30 pieces, right? It's supposed to be 30 pieces. I'm counting because remember my 10-pound thread-up box that I only got like six and a half pounds? So I am counting. Yes, ma'am. You make some pretty good sausage. Ooh, that sounds good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're on seven. Just making sure I have the, the count right. Oh, yeah. His jam is biscuits and gravy all day long. All day long. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's a small one. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Carol. Okay. What happened with the six and three-quarter pound? Carol wants to know. Well, I finally heard from them, and I... Um, I emailed them and I didn't hear from them, but I messaged them on Facebook. I don't want to peek. I don't want to peek. I'm telling you. I messaged them on Facebook and then I heard back from them in three hours. They ended up refunding me like $6. I would have rather had the poundage of jewelry routine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah. Okay, so here we go. Next box. Let's see what's inside. Goodies. Okay. I see some paparazzi. I'll see some paparazzi. We have some little, just kind of red studs. Eh. Okay, could be worse. That makes eight. Then we've got a, oh, that's cute. Okay, this one says, celebrate small victories, and it's on a leather cord. And you know, I'm really weird about le leather fabric stuff that could be gross, but this one is like really nice. It doesn't feel like sweaty or gross or frayed. So I don't know. This will probably go into a lot though, or, a, or I might do a giveaway because that's a cute, it's a cute sentiment, right? I know I'd rather have, I'd rather have the poundage of jewelry than the $6. Look, this matches my bubblegum nails. All right. So we've got this pink enamel. Is it any brand? No brand bracelet. 
Oh, wait. There's something on the outside. I was looking on the inside. What does it say? Can you guys read? Does it say Vera Bradley? Oh, it's a Vera Bradley bracelet. Okay. So that might be something cute to put. You know, I can try it on Poshmark or something. I don't know if people buy Vera Bradley jewelry. Maybe they do. I mean, I like the pink. It's really cute. Okay, so that's a maybe. I'll look it up. Then, oh, okay, we got, what was that? Hang on, I'm losing my count. Let me put five in one box, so that way I'll remember. That's five, and then one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now there's five in that box. Okay, so I've got 10 over there. I've got to count. <laughs> All right, next up is a ring. Okay. Uh, ooh, thank you, Christine. Christine is sharing that in on ThreadUp today, you use the code BRANDLESS and it gets you 30% off all unbranded jewelry. And I have a link down below to get $10. Like you get 10, I get 10. So if you click through with my link and then use that code, ooh, That'd be good. And I have been scouring their jewelry because I got that gold ring. I was like, there must be other stuff up there that they're just totally missing, you know, unless they never even listed it, right? <laughs> okay, next up is this ring, which I've never sold anything like this. I know there are people that like stuff that's a little more, I mean, this is definitely modern. I'm looking around it to see if I see any marks. It's definitely modern. Hang on. And it's got this blue stone on one side and these pink rhinestones or crystals down the other. It's not my style, but I can see how someone might like it. This is my style, darling. Anyway, <laughs> so um, I would have to really see how to look, like research that. Hang on, I'm playing with my magnet. See, it's not magnetic, which is fun. So let me peek on the inside for any marks. I don't see anything. Here we go. Finally bought the stuff off your faves list. <laughs> good, good. Okay, hang on. I got a new loop I'm working with here. I left my other loop downstairs, I think. Yeah, there's no marks on it. Doesn't mean it's gold or anything, but <sighs> I will have to learn how to describe this because this is something I, have, I don't have. This is outside of my wheelhouse. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So there's that. I'll probably sell it. <laughs> All right, next up, we've got some paparazzi earrings. Yeah, those are probably going to a lot. And then we've got a cute little ring, postmodern. Ah, oh, wearable modern art. So this is a cute little ring. It's gold toned. It's got a little flat black onyx type stone in it. Let's look at the back and see it looks like it's probably like one of these mass produced kind of i mean it's not horrible but do i think i'll list it on its own maybe not i might i don't know maybe uh what would you do i need help i don't know if i would list this on its own or put it in a lot i'm trying to see is that where to the side right there hang on I'm so picky. Yes, it is. So some of the gold tone has rubbed off there. Can you see? So yeah, that'll probably go into a lot there. We'll just set that right there. It's okay. I got those cool earrings, the Heidi Dow's earrings. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. <sighs> but not horrible. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm going to try that. All right. So then we got this ring, which is kind of fun. It's got this like howlite, dyed howlite stone, and then these marcasites. And then a swoosh. It looks like either a wave or a wing. What would you describe that as? A, a wing or a wave? An ocean wave, like crashing in. I'm looking to see if it's missing any of the marcasites. I don't think so. Okay. And then the back looks like this. I, I In another lot, or another haul that I got, I got a ring very similar to this. And it was covered like the the blue, the turquoise type stone was covered and it had open work and it had like a treble clef in it, a music note. And I gave it to Mikey's, I had Mikey give it to his teacher, his music teacher. A wave, a wing. <laughs> oh, Fern, thank you for that super chat. I need to do one of those if then, then, that if, that, if this, then that, because then you can like, 
if people do super chats or subscribe or whatever, you can have little like animated things dancing around. I can dance around for you though. Woo! Thank you so much for that $5 super chat, Fern. I appreciate it. All right, so at first you thought it was a wing. That's what I thought at first too, but then I looked at it, I was like, kind of looks like a wave. It is marked 925 on the inside. Oh, thank you, Fern. I'm so glad to help. Um, it's a waving wing. But the, the 925 stamp looks like it's one of those that's been laser cut, which is fine. No, 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 maybe not. Maybe it's a stamp stamp. Um, so let me check it with my magnet. Here's the dealio. Okay. It is magnetic. Now, do I think that this has been rhodium plated or you know, plated with something else that makes it magnetic? I don't know. I I don't think it matters. I don't think with this ring, I'm gonna dive super deep to find out. I I would probably, if I list it, put in there, you know, it isn't is marked 925, but is magnetic. So I mean now if this ring had like a fancy stone in it or something like that, or maybe real turquoise and was also magnetic and I thought it might be rhodium, I might dive a little deeper. But for this one where I know I'm not gonna, we're not looking at ginormous profits, then I probably won't spend my time on that, if you know what I mean. So next up, we have a turtle. It's a turtle, which cool. Now, is it dirty? Are you a dirty turtle? <laughs> I don't know where to go with that. I started it and I just can't finish it. Are you, <laughs> I'm trying to see if it's scratched or, or if it's dirty. I think it might be, I can't tell. I can't tell, I'm trying to scratch with my thumb. Cause if it's dirty, I can clean it. If it's scratched, then that's not cool, man. I can't tell right now. Okay, dirty turtle. Um, So there's that. Okay, let's take a look at the back cause there are some stamps on it. So if we can recognize what these stamps are, one of them looks like a uh, sand dollar. And then the other, B I C O Bico. I don't know Bico. All right, Bico. I thought rhodium is not magnetic. No, yeah, I don't know. That's the thing. Some people, yeah. That this is the question. Surf Bico, it says. Um, but then some people will say, well, it's rhodium plated over something that is magnetic. Blah, 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 blah. I can't keep it straight, honestly, as far as that goes. Normally when it's magnetic and it's marked silver, I just think the stamp is wrong. So that's generally the just the direction I go. Okay, so Surf Bico is what that says. It's got a nice cord. Uh, let's take a peek here. Hello, Dan Danielle, how are you? It's not magnetic because of the dirty turtle, that's right. Um, I'll have to look that brand up and see if this is a dirty turtle or just a hurt turtle. You might need to go to Turtle Rescue. Found that pendant on Amazon for $39.95. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to move on. Hang on. I'm looking to see what she's laughing at. Biko is Australian jewelry. Okay. So we have 15 down so far. So we're halfway. Wait a minute. Oh, there's another box beside me. I was like, oh, no, there's nothing else in there. Supposed to have 30 pieces so far we're okay we have 15 we're halfway done which means there better be a lot in here right Biko is Australian Swarovski crystals thank you okay I'm gonna definitely make sure it's not dirty pardon me all right 15 down let's see what else we've got we've got a it's a leather strap with some it's like a shoelace okay it's just a glorified shoelace basically right let's see what this brand tag is who are you it's uh does it say boy hang on i gotta get my loop my loop dy david Yurum. uh and this side, side says copyright dy D-Y, y'all help me. Is that David Urim? I know a designer that's named that, I think. Unless I've got it wrong. All right, y'all can help me out. Because maybe it's worth something. Because you know that one that I was like, uh, that it was, oh, what is it? 
uh, Ch Chan Lu or something like that, where it looks like buttons and like cords and David Yerman. Okay, okay, that's what I thought. Yes, woohoo! Um, David Yerman. What did I say? I can't remember what, I, what else. I think that's what I said. Okay, David Yerman is cheap. Okay, <laughs> David Yerman is expensive. Ah, uh, okay. We have fluctuating fight, 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 fight in the chat. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, I'll have to figure out what's going on with that one because you know, like the other one, I keep wanting to say Chan Lu, where they just look like cords and buttons and like wrap you know, fabric things, and, and I'm like, what? Um, but they end up being worth a ton of money. Check on Poshmark. A brown one is listed for 100 bucks. See? Gotta look it up. <laughs> oh, said not cheap. Okay, nothing David German is cheap. I forgot. This is what I get for not reading the complete sentence. I just read, read <laughs> the David German is cheap, <laughs> Marcy. Sorry. Um, oh, wow. Okay, well, this one gets to hang out over. I can't imagine paying, what do I call it? A glorified shoestring, right? <laughs> I don't, but you know what? To each his or her own, because I'm sure somebody would look at my jewelry and think I'm tacky, right? Black one, 115. Oh, well, there's no question about whether I'm going to sell it or keep it. It's definitely not staying with me. <laughs> Chan Lu, that's what it is. I'm like, I was just looking at that earlier today too. Okay, then we've got another bracelet that's got these big blingy, I think these are Rivoli. Yeah, they, these are big Rivoli stones. They are clear Rivoli, so you can tell because they are pointy on top, and if you flip it over, you can see they're pointy on bottom, so Rivolis are like that, pointy, pointy, on both sides. So it's really pretty. They're big, blingy Rivoli. And then the backs are even kind of pretty. All right. Are you guys going to watch the Super Blood Moon or whatever it's called tonight? His stuff is collectible. Somebody's going to collect this. They can collect it from me. <laughs> for cheap. Not that cheap. If it's going for 100 bucks. I'm going for it. All right. Okay, so here we go. What does that say? Can you guys read it? Does it say Stella and Dot? I think it does. There's a bit of wear on that, yeah. So some of the um, finish has worn off the tag, but I don't think that's gonna matter too much because that's a really pretty bracelet. Right, um, oh, you're gonna watch and maybe dance. <laughs> Down, sons of the moonlight, my darlings, the lunar eclipse is here. <laughs> okay, so we've got five, 10, 15, 16, 17. And let's pull out the next one. ThreadUp's going to watch this and hoard all their joy. Somebody said that on one of my other ones. Somebody wrote a comment that was like, see, this is why ThreadUp isn't doing them anymore. Because you're doing all these videos on them. Like, I am late to the game. I just, I'll have you know. There have been a ton of people that have been doing ThreadUp hauls way longer than me. And no, I don't think they'll be upset. And I don't think they're going to quit doing it. Because you know what? They're making money. They're making money here. Over fist, this is my hand over fist money song. Yeah, they don't care. Right? I'm just like, man, ever you you gonna have somebody that's gonna get the negative attitude? Hang on, I'm gonna pull my foot up. Here goes that sciatic nerve. Okay, you guys, I've had those like icy hot packs on me all day, and like, oh my gosh, it's don't even. All right, next up, <laughs> let's move on. We have a multi strand. Hang on, it's not right. I have to make it right. Be right. There. All right, we have a multi-strand, kind of like a snake chain with linked rings. They quit selling the 10 pound because we bought them all. That's right. I need to say, hey, you need to cut a special deal to Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers Group because we are eating you out of house and home, mister. <laughs> So, but they won't because they know we're going to buy them anyway. <laughs> All right. So this one does not have, let me see how it looks. Again, not my, this is definitely not my uh, style, but it's that businesswoman, that clicky, clicky. I haven't done business lady in a long time. This is very business lady. She's going to her board meeting, right? Her name is Veronica Corningstone. <laughs> name that movie. 
Um, Veronica Corningstone here. <laughs> and that, <laughs> that job you put me on, that story is baloney. Okay, baloney. So this one is a definitely a power necklace. And if, and if she doesn't get the story she wants, she will chain you up with this necklace just to make the point that she can. Now, does it have a maker? Yes. Okay, so yes, they're getting free advertisement, exactly. Even when I do negative ones, even when I'm like, that's horrible, you know what it is? Free advertising. <laughs> so this is a C for Charming Charlie. That's not the Chico's one, is it? No, that's not the Chico's one, that's a Charming Charlie. All right, so there's that. That's gonna probably go into a lot, maybe. All right, this one looks très délicate. <laughs> now someone can attack my French grammar. This is très délicate. No. <laughs> but it is very delicate, and it's got these rings. I really like this. This is very pretty. So can you see it's got rings of stone, and then on the outside it's kind of got a dark enamel underneath, and then a gold, and then an orangey or gold. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, I wish you could see the light shining through it from my end because it's very rainbowy, sparkly, even through the backside. Even through the backside. Yes. Very pretty. I'm hoping we find the maker's mark on that one because it's super pretty. And then the chain. There's the chain. And it's got three rings so you can make it, you can adjust the length, basically. See? Like so. Now, you get the close-up first. Do you see any marks, any stamps? Anything to excite the girl? No, I didn't see anything. And I didn't use my magnet. That would help me right away. Oh, wait, I lied. There is a mark there. The mark is a 925. However, okay, how about you? Yes, you are also magnetic. There's a 925 mark on it, so it may be just 925 with some you know, gold tone finish on it. It's still really pretty. I don't think it's going to matter. I'm looking to see if I see any of the makers. It's really, really well done. That's the thing. <laughs> it pays to have a good backside. Don't I know that's true? Save my marriage more than once. Now I can't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. So it's really, yeah, it's really nice. Well, now it's time to see. Is it a keeper? No, I don't think it's a keeper. No. Um, <laughs> shout out to the good backsides in the chat. <laughs> okay, then, so 5, 10, 15, 18, 19. Okay, so this will be the last two things here. I'll make it 20. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I aim to please. <laughs> but I guess not you for that one. <laughs> Okay, so next up, <laughs> every day she deteriorated more and more <laughs> until suddenly she came on stark raving mad and half naked. <laughs> That's the news report. Okay, so next up is this um, twisty bangle. I have a number that are similar to this. So it can get lotted up with some similar or go into a lot itself. <laughs> And then, so this will make 20. And this one, finishing.com for into, oh, it can be magnetic. See, that's what I thought, Shirley Ann. That's what I thought. Okay, so this is the next necklace. When it was laying down, it looked more pink, but when I put it on like this, it looks more skin tone. I don't know, <laughs> my skin tone, not your skin tone, because that was the thing. Remember when pantyhose used to be called nude? And I was like, nude for who? Because they're like brownie orange and came in an egg and I'm white. <laughs> That's not my nude. You know what I mean? So it's like, what would you call that color? Oh, darlings, what would you call this color? It's kind of a pinkish, whitish, um, <laughs> fleshy. The fleshy. <laughs> oh, Kimmy. Right, I have a fleshy necklace to sell you. That doesn't sound creepy at all. I guess if I say it that way, it doesn't help, but apricot. That's better. A nice apricot necklace. Perfect for spring. Ah, opalescent. A champagne. Oh, yes. 
Champagne. There we go. Much better than me saying it's a fleshy. Okay. <laughs> so there's that. And these, I mean, I feel like I see these. One of the back sides has got some wear, which is okay. It'll probably go into a lot. I don't think I'll sell it. Okay, so that makes 20 pieces. <laughs> Let me put these back in here. And then we'll open the last box. Can you believe that? I mean, for real. All right, David Yerman, you and me. <laughs> we got to talk. Blush. That's a good one. Sandbox sand color. There we go. Now, is this the sandbox that has the Tootsie Rolls in it? Because, anyway. <laughs> I'm always weird about my kids when they were little, especially playing in the sandbox. Like it, I didn't want them playing in the sandbox at the park because, like, ringworm, you know. All right, so let's let's take a look. This is the last box. There needs to be ten pieces in here because it's supposed to be thirty piece box. And they will be hearing from me again. I'm here to register my displeasure, sir, at your thirty piece box that fell far short. All right. Okay, so we have what it's kind of like an Alex and Annie kind of coffee cat. So flesh necklace. <laughs> it was so yes. Um, it looks, I mean, it looks like an Alex and Annie style, but it's not Alex and Annie. So it's got this rhinestone here. It's got a rose. It says lead compliant, made in Vietnam. And then true on the back. So, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but I'll probably put it in a lot just because I don't know how strict Alex and Annie are about their, is that Southern, old Southern gentleman. Yes, it is, Nene. My old Southern gentleman would like to register his displeasure. <laughs> with, <laughs> I need a brandy as quick as you can bring it. Okay, so... I don't know. Men don't drink. Do men drink brandy? I guess they would drink it after dinner, maybe a cognac or something. All right. So, Colonel Angus, did you see that one? That was another Saturday Night Live. Colonel Angus. Um, anyway, we won't we won't go there. Like sweaty balls was one thing. Colonel Angus is a total different. You have to look that one up on your own. Sorry. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So that'll probably go into a lot because some jewelry companies are like, that is our style. You have copied our style, and you will be in big trouble. If you use our jewelry style. Oh, good. So, oh no, Melissa didn't get the notification. I didn't post it in the group either. I was really bad about that this time. Um, when I say putting in a lot, do I mean mystery lot? I don't think I would put this in a mystery lot. I try to put things in the mystery lot that, well, maybe I would. I don't know. That, you know, not damaged, that you could sell or you could wear. Kind of like what the thread up lot would be, but apparently better. Um, so take that. Um, but I'm planning on doing some. That style was around before Alex and Annie. Okay, well, that's not too bad then. I mean, it's cute. I like the rose. So, um, oh gosh, I've lost my train of thought again. This is what I get. I get too many trains in the station, and then one takes off, and I'm on it. And then I'm like, wait, I forgot something on the other train. I need to go get it. Um, See, there it goes again. Oh, and oh, okay, we're moving on. That's that. <laughs> oh, 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 what I put it in the mystery lot. I'm planning on doing some other lots. I, I've got some other jewelry kind of compiled that I'm going to do one of those like jewelry spread out you so you can see what's all in there kind of lots. Yeah. Take the chains, charms off. Oh, you asked a question. Ask it again because I missed it. Um, yeah, if you missed, if I didn't get to the question, just sometimes the chat gets going. Apparently, I could see old Southern gentlemen, but not anything else. All right. So next up, we've got this bracelet, which has got a lot going on. Let's take a slow look at it. We've got some stone beads or the plastic beads. Okay. Got some beads. We've got this leather wrapped piece here. We've got this wire part here. And then we've got this chain. And then it it's hooks on here. Like that. All right. Okay, and that's all I got to say about that. <laughs> you like the train thing? Yeah, you witnessed it firsthand. All right, so this is, um, again, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Okay, I, I keep wanting to put it over there, but I need to count, so I'm keeping it over here. Oh, I see some rings. 
All right, we'll save the rings. All right, so next up, oh, oh, you need a place or a website to help with all the brands. There's a few. I, I posted a link to one I like to use in um, Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers. Um, they were ambitious. They were they had a lot going on there. Uh, and then other people have shared in the group too what their favorite ones were. So, and of course, I can't think of what Illusion Jewels is one I like a lot. Then somebody posted another one. I can't think. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Hang on. I'm gonna. Oh, Melissa, you'll have to drop a picture in the group because I I'd have to see it. <coughs> <coughs> oh goodness. Okay. So thank you guys for hitting that thumbs up. Next, we've got a, it looks like a teeny tiny little bracelet that would have been like one of those um, ID bracelets from back in the day, you know, only it's not ID'd. And then let's see what the brand is. Can you make that out? Something R. Wait, wait. Oh, Banana Republic. Okay, that B R. Banana Republic. So that's not bad. I mean, it might do okay on Poshmark. We'll see. We'll see. If it doesn't look like it'll sell for much, I'll put it in a lot. So, hmm, could be, could be. Look at me go. I'm trying to stick it over there. I have got to keep it on this side. All right, next up. Oh, now, Virginia, I'm working in the store where we sell the scented candles and the Jesus shirts. Okay, so uh, this is definitely... You know, you try to think, you try to think about the buyer. And I'm trying, when I picture this, that's a necklace waiting to happen, that's for sure. <laughs> this reminds me of like a woman, she must have some hair, preferably frosted in some which way or another. Maybe big, most likely big. Maybe a bouffant somewhere. Um, and then definitely nails for days. Hold the phone. You want what? And oh, they said one. You want this necklace? And let me tell you. If you see something you like here, not here, but in, in the hall, um, let me know. Southern statement. Yes, like they have the purses too, all blinged out and everything. Okay, hang on. One, two, three. There. All right. You look okay. So then you try to picture it. Like, what is she wearing? Maybe a nice white sundress with a denim jacket over it. Some brown. Sandals that look like gladiator sandals. Are those still in? I don't know. Anyway, my accent I'm doing right now is not a Texas accent, so that just won't work. All right. Hi, y'all. There we go. Hi, y'all. Oh, yeah. I love my big cross turquoise decor. Uh, yes, I do. Okay. And cowboy boots. Oh, yes. Um, I did. I started. I've sold two things in Mortal Hourglass, but yeah, it's been slow. It's been slow. I just got my eBay finally back up and running. So this one, I'm gonna have to look it up. Cause I mean, just cause I don't like it personally, not my style. I mean, that is like, you can love Jesus. And then you love him. I love him. There's, you know, there's different ways to love Jesus. I'm just gonna stop. <laughs> okay. Uh, t my name is TX. Gal treasures. I think I have the the link down below. I think I put it in there. If Madonna was from Texas, oh boy, I don't want to offend anybody. It's just not my style. Hang on, here goes. I'm trying to like pull my leg up, but it hurts so bad. But I think it'll feel better when I get it up here. Are the stones real? No, no. Let's take a look again. I didn't even show you. Oh, you know, I think. I mean, I've got some. That's some tiger's eye. Let's take a peek. Look, nope. So here's what I'm looking at. When you look at these stones, if you're like, how do you know if that's turquoise or not? So look at the stone first. Okay. Then look at the hole. And you see that white? So that means that it's a, a dyed halite. A halite is a white stone. It's like vein, kind of like this. But um, but it's white. And they can dye it all kinds of colors. So we've got dyed halite. You can't really tell on that one. But you can on the other. So yeah, look around the holes. <laughs> and then there's this stone, which is kind of fun. It's like a tiger's eye mixed with something else. Okay, so I will have to see about that one. Jake uh, yeah, I just got my eBay up, back up and running. 
I was like, I closed my store. I took a lot of flack for it too, but whatever. Everybody has to do what's right for them, right? And so, yeah, I had closed my store because I, I had a lot going on, a lot going on. And so I, um, yeah, I finally got it going again. So I was relisting and checking all my listings that I was, you know, starting over again. All right, next up is this bracelet, which has got shoestrings. <laughs> Hello from Ireland. How are you? <clears throat> okay. And it's got textured and smooth. What do you mean? <laughs> it's like pipes. They're like pipes. They're like straws. What are they called? Uh, I can't think of the name of them. And then here's the back. They've got a toggle clasp, which has no maker's mark. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe lot it. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now we should have. Oh, really? Okay, fine. One, two, three, four, five. We should have five more things. One, does that go together? Yes, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, six things. Okay, fine. Uh-oh, are we buffering? No, not again. All right, next up is this ring. Don't get excited. Oh, you're buffering too. Not cool, man. Okay, good, good, good. Hopefully, yeah, refresh and see. So I can see that some of the wear is rubbing off on this, I think, unless it's just super tarnished. Let me look on the inside. This ring magnet it is magnetic so this one would probably go into a lot just because it's meh, meh we've got this looks like it's a piece of a coconut <laughs> what is that for? Uh, anybody is that a piece of a coconut i took a piece of coconut and then i polished it i took a piece of coconut poke a hole took a piece of coconut i draw the string through Took a piece of coconut and now I'm whole. That's my coconut song. Take it or leave it. Okay, so <laughs> we've got this. I'm not sure that that's coconut. Unless you're telling me yes in the chat it is. Then, oh, okay, good. Coconut. <laughs> so this is my coconut song. You know what would be fun, though, is if the, if this was longer, I could, I could have a coconut eye patch. Right? That would be good. Um, I think I would like it better as an eye patch. I don't think it's not long enough, darn it. Oh, well, you could have been a winner <laughs> with a coconut eye patch. But I, you try to think of the buyer. I need a grass skirt. Where, who, and what, what event, and who is like, I mean, no, I guess I could see it on somebody. It's not me, but, you know, I guess. All right, yeah. You can't love them all, right? That's so me. When you go to Hawaii, you'll need it. That would require me fly. No, it's not going to happen. One, it would require me being on a plane for a really long time. Two, why would I get on a volcano on purpose? <laughs> I'm not down with that. I hear it's beautiful there. I hear it's lovely. I don't like flying very much. I've been on planes, don't get me wrong, and I'll go if I have to. But I don't like volcanoes. I mean, I like to see pictures of them. And I think they're fascinating, but I would definitely not get on a volcano. So <laughs> on purpose. Um, so can you give it to your son so they can each make it into an eye patch? This is true. Boys, boys, I need an eye patch by 7 a.m. Get on it. <laughs> Survival idol, idol neck, Moana's grandma. Oh, yeah. With a gorgeous, oh, it'd be gorgeous with a yellow dress. Oh, okay. You guys are so positive today. Listen to me. I'm turning it into an eye patch, singing a coconut song about it. <laughs> All right, next up, we have got this ring. And I see something written inside. Maybe the Brady Bunch or send it off to Survivor. There we go. You guys have the best ideas. What would I do without you? No, I think it's just dirt. That time when you thought you had a maker's mark and it turned out to be dirt. Oh well, it's not magnetic. Hmm. I don't know. Stealthy. <laughs> yes. 
We are creative jewelry hoarders. That could be a whole, we have like a mantra going with that. Yeah, I don't know. This will probably just go into a lot. I don't think they're yellow topaz. I mean, I'm looking at the back. The back has no, you know, it didn't open up to see the back of the stones. I don't have my Presidium gem tester either. And just by the look of it, it's made to look like they're held in there. You see how those little bits look like they're holding them in there? But they're not really. I think they're glued in there. They're not actually holding the stones. They're not actually even touching the stones. Can you see that? The little things that are pretending to be prongs. Uh, yeah, right, Pamela? Oh, so annoying. Okay, the next, come on. We've got a pair of earrings, and one of them, they didn't send the back for it. Okay, thanks a lot. What's your madoodle? Thread up. Thanks a lot for that. So, but they're cute. I mean, the fronts of them, they have that look to them. I'm trying to see if that yellow in there is a reflection off the light or something, or if there's like weird yellow glue showing. Ready? Let's look. I can't tell. It looks like weird yellowness in the crack. <laughs> uh, eh, no, okay, maybe it's fine. It's cool, it's cool. <laughs> So there's these, and I don't, you look on the back of the other one. I don't see a maker's mark. Sometimes, have you ever found jewelry like that where the earrings, one of them will have the maker's mark, but then the other one won't? They are magnetic. So <laughs> anyway, get them, Mary. You still in there? Debbie, are you in there? Um, <laughs> there's that. So those will probably go into a lot, I know. <laughs> then, I just, and I realized yesterday we had the, the troll that we had. I was like responding to the troll and then um, and the, on the playback, because the, the person got booted, you can't see what they wrote. So it's just like, honestly, it just cracks me up. So <laughs> yeah, whack them, get them. What we should call them moles instead of trolls, right? Whack a mole. All right, so next up, <laughs> we've got this ring, and it looks like it's trying to have stones on the side, but it's not. It's just textured. And then it's got this gold colored X in the front. We could have had fun with them, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Whack a troll. There we go. We could have had fun with that one. Man. Ma, you didn't let us play with that one before we had him kicked out. We could have played with that one and made fun of him all night long. Okay, so then there's no marks on this. Let's take a look with the magnet. And it is magnetic. Okay, darn. <laughs> you think you have one? <laughs> a little boy's name. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this one. <laughs> Uh, I am laughing at the chat. We'll probably go into a lot. And then we've got one more, which I'm going to have to figure out. The chain is tangled on it. And it is a, oh, why do you have to be tangled? And you're a complicated ring. Are you missing a, and you're missing a stone. Thanks a lot. Spread up. All right. So we've got this ring. It's a ring with a chain. And I know, like, the ones that would have, like, the hand, wrist thing, they are called slave bracelets for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, that's what they're, I've seen them called anyway. I'm sure there's other names for them. But is that, what would you call a ring that's like that? Of course, my chain is messed up, so I can't get it on correctly. But it looks like that. <laughs> looks like that. I'm not flipping you off. It just fits on that finger. So... I'm looking to see if there's any kind of maker's mark. It is it's totally like wrapped around that thing too and knotted on there. I have to mess with it. Hang on. Before I get my loop, there's a troll. There's a troll in the dungeon. That's from Harry Potter. Come on. There's trolls in the dungeon. Thought you ought to know. Some trolls would probably like to be in the dungeon. Uh, Yeah. Okay. So there's no marks. And that because of the missing stone, that'll just probably go into a craft lot because it's missing a stone on right there. Okay, so for the most part, for my 35 bucks, I definitely got a few pieces that I can sell. 
most of the other stuff, I mean, there's probably maybe five things that I'll sell personally. The rest of it will either end up in a craft lot or there's a couple pieces that I might put into a jewelry lot. So, I mean, this one's not terrible, but it's not silver either, which doesn't matter necessarily because I definitely have sold stuff that's not silver. Yes, this was the 30 piece one. Yeah. Oh, hey, how's it going? So, um, yeah, I don't know. And again, let's pull out my favorites. My Penelope von Schnitzelwitzel's earrings. I'm reaching because they're on the bottom. I wish you had been the last. That's all I have to say. I wish if they, I wish they would have put these in the bottom box. So I wouldn't, I would not have seen them first because then my expectations just went through the roof, you know? And yeah, I got the shoestring, this David Yerman one that is supposed to be worth a hundred dollars. But you know, <laughs> it's not something I could see right off. I was like, wow, that's amazing, right? Uh, thanks, Diane. Okay, so let me know if you have gotten one of the thread up boxes, which one you've gotten. Because so far I've done a 30 piece one, I've done a 10 pound lot, I've done one of the fun boxes, which was actually fun, even though I didn't keep, want to keep everything. And then the coach box. So let me know if you've done any of those. Let me know, I've got a, a link down below if you want to get $10 off your thread up order. And then if you're in Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, and you've gotten one of the boxes, go over there. If you paid attention, if like if you saw which one it was from, like leave a comment about which one it came from, what like distributing center. Because I'm gonna I have a theory. And I want to see if my theory is true, if it's correct. My southern gentleman has to come back out now. I have a theory. Anyway, Dr. Watson, what is your theory? Well, anyway, the 10 pound boxes are a much better deal. I agree. I think so. Because I, I got, I mean, I still got stuff that was missing stones in, in this 30 pound. I mean, the 30 piece one that could have, well, probably should have gone into the 10 pound box like that. Okay. So yeah, that's that. And tomorrow is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So hopefully you guys don't have to work too hard and go out and dance under the moon if you are so inclined when it is out. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Go down there and hit the thumbs up and let me know if you have done one of the boxes, if you've gotten one or if you're thinking about it. And I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for coming to hang out tonight, everybody. Bye.